We're now being joined live on the news um, by security experts, uh, Yahuza Getso from Abuja. You're welcome to the news brief. Thank you for having me. Thank you for your time. Um, there are now so many mass uh, abductions in Kaduna State. Why do you think schools are targeted? Well, I, I think it is not the schools that are targeted, uh, but rather the response to the government's uh, inability to seek its responsibility. Uh, because if the government is sitting to its responsibility, uh, these security challenges we have are manageable. Uh, why? Because we know the government knows where the uh, bandits are. The government knows who are the kidnappers. The government knows who are behind them. We have heard many of these comments and statements credited to Minister of Information, Lai Muhammad. And even the governor himself, in an interview he um, granted to BBC English Service when he was responding to the arrest of um, uh, Namdi Khan, who have confirmed this, that they know where they are, they know their locations, and um, they are targeting them, and they are working hard to see how they can manage and, and deal with them decisively. Okay. But um... what surprised me and uh, what is confusing even responsible Nigerians is the fact that when the governor yesterday night was going to demolish houses at Malali area in Kaduna, he mobilized almost 50 helocs, 50 trucks okay. with uh, security aid agents to those locations. So if governor can have that capacity, if the governor have the authority to manage that, and if the governor can mobilize up to 50 trucks or so, to an ordinary, uh, an, an armed people uh, who he wanted to demolish their houses for one reason or another, as mentioned. Uh, we are not discussing the demolition, but it's a part okay. of it as a subject. Okay, Why Dr. can Yahuza. he mobilize the same element, the same security personnel, to go to where he may mention that himself and the military and the other security operatives knew about where all these criminals are? Okay, Doctor, uh, what do you think uh, we can do to keep the school safe? Um, what we can do to keep the school safe is the same thing we can do to keep the whole of our, our community safe. In Nigeria, as far as I'm concerned, based on experience and based on professionalism, there is no one that is safe, no way you can move 40 kilometer radius and you're comfortable, comfortable that you will be able to go back to your family. If you left your wife in your house, even in Abuja here where we are, your wife is not sure that you will go back and meet her, and you too are not sure that uh, you will uh, she will go back. You will go back uh, for her to see you. You can be kidnapped. You can be assassinated. You can be attacked. Anything can happen. So Nigeria is a country that is full of uncertainties, mm. and this is simply because of the attitude of our leaders. Non-state actors are given warning to state actors. And I wonder, uh, Lai Mohammed, the Minister of uh, Information and other okay, especially the Minister of Defense himself, they have been mentioning that they know where these criminals are. So if you know where they are, why can't you deal with them decisively and do it right? How okay. do you allow non-state actors to give you an ultimatum? One of the one of the kidnappers, the team leaders who kidnapped the Greenfield uh, students, have given an ultimatum at one time to the government of Kaduna State and even to the sovereign state of Nigeria. So Nigeria is a country, it's a geographical location where we are together, but we didn't believe in the country itself. Okay. So the question is, do even Nigeria as a state exist? If it, it exists. What is the responsibility of the leadership of the country? Yes, uh, very, good on that, very good on that question. Doctor, uh, Dr. Yanza, uh, you, you, you just uh, made a valid point now. Now, seeing the parents of um, these children crying and that the police is against them protesting, you know, to know the whereabouts of their children, who should bear the most responsibility here in all of these things happening? Do you think it's the federal government or Kaduna State? Is both because both of them, the governor of Kaduna State is the chief security officer of the state, 
And um, looking at the, all the security formations, in the whole northern Nigeria, there is no state that has the presence of, uh, uh, of uh, security uh, um, personnel, uh, security formations, security armaments, security armories, and all what you may ask in Kapanchan area, in Kaduna, in Kachia, in Binungwari, in many of other these places, there are security training institutions and there are established institutions for capacity building and rebuilding. And um, uh, so the governor has the responsibility to do what he is supposed to do. And as far as the government, uh, the state government and the federal government will want to collaborate. You know, before we used to have three tier of government in Nigeria. But as far as I'm concerned, professionally now we have four tier of government. You have the federal government, you have the state government, you have the criminal government, then the local government administration that is being killed. Mm. More or less, if you say that you don't have local government administration, you are even right. Okay. And um, if you ask your question, mm. that you ask yourself. Okay, um, finally, I, I, I'll people, just... People are being killed. When we have the pandemic. Yeah. Doctor, I'm sorry, because of time, I'll just ask you, uh, you know, uh, what impact you think this um, a whole kidnapping issue on education will have on the young people? Do you think they will be free to want to go back to school without fear? Well, not even the children. Nobody has the confidence and nobody has the courage of the safety and their comfort. So parents are no longer having confidence and courage. And one of the target is to destroy the educational system. And um, if government is really serious about it, it's something that we can manage, we have the capacity, we have the ability, and we don't need to even get any foreign support to deal with this situation. Oh. And uh, as uh, by the intelligence information we are having, a lot of these criminals are moving from Kasana Sokoto uh, and um, Zamfara, and they're moving towards the area of Kaduna State, Zalenja State, as well as some other part of Sokoto State where they are neighboring Kebi, and uh, it's also part of uh, the other part of the Zamfara. And okay. we have made mention this, and they are also strategizing also to the areas of Jigawa, Kano, and um, even uh, to Yogi State. Okay. So the mandatory activity, if government did not stick to its responsibility, uh, I, have, I have done my own responsibility. I have communicated to all the state security commissions. So I have been trying to reach out to the Commissioner of Internal Affairs and Home Affairs and the Security of Kaduna State, mm. uh, Mr. Arwan, but he never picked my call. Okay. I have been trying to reach out to the Governor of Jigawa State and the Governor of uh, uh, Yobi okay, State. Okay, um, thank you. Intelligence information, but they all refuse to pick my call. I send an SMS, they are not responding. But I have communicated to the security formation, the police, the DSS, and the civil defense, and part of the military I know within these states. Okay, okay. So thank you the Nigeria so much. is not safe. We want to thank you so much for your time, you know, for giving all this expose on this news. Um, thank you and have a great day. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.